The names of Staff Sergeant Kim Hughes, who is here today, and Staff Sergeant Olaf Schmidt, who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty, will go down in history as the bravest of the brave. Honours for Afghanistan's bomb disposal heroes. The George Cross awarded to both Staff Sergeant Kim Hughes and posthumously to Staff Sergeant Olaf Schmidt for disarming dozens of enemy devices. Both soldiers have been credited with saving countless lives, both military and civilian. Staff Sergeant Hughes, seen here with the Defence and Home Secretary, recognised for the single most outstanding act of explosive ordnance disposal ever on record in Afghanistan just months earlier. After fellow soldiers were ambushed, leaving casualties and fatalities, the 30-year-old neutralised exploding devices by hand without protective clothing. Creating a clear path for their extraction, he then tackled another four devices in the area, again by hand. Also honoured Staff Sergeant Schmidt, his widow Christina collecting the George Cross on his behalf. He too had tackled many devices, deployed as part of Operation Panther's Claw last year, his citation referring to a list of incidents. In Hellman's soaring August heat, Sergeant Schmidt spent 11 hours removing devices from a vital supply route. On October 31st that year, he was trapped in an alleyway with his team, booby-trapped with devices. Sergeant Schmidt traced the wires to the device in order to disarm it and protect his team, the same device that took his life. His selfless actions and those of Kim Hughes a considerable act. Um, I'm very proud to, to be awarded that, and obviously that was read out in the citation. I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon about it, but um, there's other guys out there at the moment. There's uh, soldiers on the ground that are doing exactly the same job that, uh, that we did.